Whoops! I let it get way too late again. So, uh, probably gonna be a repeat of yesterday. I'll just go until I'm too fucking tired to play the game. So let's see what we can do today in Within the Deep Forest. Last time, I almost finished normal mode. I could have probably pushed on and done that, but I didn't. I kind of got daunted by there's the secret in the Shadowlands. Let's just jump in. Why not? There is the uh, secret in the Shadowlands that I haven't done. And there's the last ball. So we got the cold ball. I just have to do the, the time machine thing, which I believe isn't that extensive. I kind of thought about it or like before I thought, oh man, I don't want to do that. I don't have time for that. But I'm pretty sure that's a very short section getting the final power. I don't know. We'll see. And then it's just the underwater laboratory. So uh, I'm going to hold off on the Shadowlands secret because I believe that's just for there's like an extra executable in the folder called uh, secret levels. Yeah, secret levels. And I'm pretty sure that's something it has something to do with that so uh not really relevant i suppose so let's just do the stuff to end the game so cold ball we got this one this one sounds kind of weird at least even though it's technically ice at least it doesn't like just die like the glass ball so we need to just take this to the start again Oh, that's fine. That's kind of weird that the cold ball can even do this. That would have been kind of a neat quirk to it if it couldn't be near lava. Maybe even like on the screen, on any screen that had lava. Because it's a cold, cold ball, you know, it would just melt. But maybe that would break. Not sure. Yeah, interesting to note that I came back on the right side. So it saved that even through quitting the game and coming back and all that. Is the music different or is is it always this? This just sounds not like what I remember. I guess this is the same. I don't even know. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm just going to save here just in case anything happens. Yeah, here we go. Old ball. And time machine into the future. And this is after Dr. Cliche has blown up his, his freeze bomb and frozen the entire world. So this is the future that we're here to prevent, I suppose. And if we go left here, the uh, exit is blocked off. Can't do anything there. I go up here, I can't. And there's no save or anything here, so you can't change what ball you are. Oh, there is a save. And then if I try to change my ball, I don't even have access to any other balls. Okay, makes sense. And this cold ball still pops. Even though that kind of doesn't make sense, but fair enough, I suppose. Right, I'm climbing this just for the sake of it, but that actually is what you have to do, because if we go to the right, if I continue going to the right, oh, poor little snake thing is just frozen as well. Uh, I believe we have to do that. Yeah, exactly, this, it's just a dead end. There's nowhere to go. You have to climb the massive tower and then jump from there in order to progress. Oh. Saw that com coming. Oh, wait. Wrong. Wait, no. This is the right way. I should just save here again. This is closer. Don't pop. Oh, another save halfway up. That's generous. I'm gonna jump from this lower thing, because then I can, like, bounce at that. Oh, dear. The greatest height and still be fine. And 
and the tower is like closed off as well. You can't get in. But if we just make a leap of faith, I'm up. Just barely. Yeah, I guess all of the save points from uh, from the the past are still here. Doctor Cliche's bomb didn't make them stop functioning. Why am I bothering to go here? I should just go down. That's a lot safer. And then we have to go down this way. Ah, once again, kind of saw that coming, but oh well. There we are. That's a little bit of a challenge, this, but not really that much. And then we have to bounce up here. This could actually be kind of difficult. Oh boy, because you don't want to pop. There. Alright, good. Still no save, but the, the ocean is frozen. And there's no dragon. The dragon is also frozen, I suppose. I, I am the ghost of King Arak Mistis. I have lain here for so, so long. I'm sorry, but it is too late for me. I cannot give you the power you desire. All I can do for you is to take you back in time to where you belong. Just a second, old guy. Yeah, nothing else here, except this castle. All right. Thank you. The far side of Elune Lake. It's a lake, not the ocean, I suppose. But now, if I bounce to the left here, the dragon is back! Welcome back, dragon. Good to see you. Well, this music is good. And you only hear it for like a fraction of a minute. Oh, how did you arrive here? Here I here you were not a moment ago. What? Yet you seem familiar somehow. I am King Arak Mistis, ruler of this great land. With a ball of ascent, you will be able to soar like a bird. But be warned, this skill will not come quickly, for it is not easy to learn. Well, actually, you can fly just by pressing the up arrow key. But you have to actually tap it, so it is... It takes some time getting used to. You can't just, like, fly around. You have to manage how many taps you do and how quickly you do it in order to maintain altitude or go higher or lower without losing control, so it's... Kind of tricky. And then I guess I just press escape? Yeah, you can just leave this level. So there we go, we have all of the balls. Time to... Oh boy, yeah, I have to... I have to fly, and then go up here. Also, now I get to see if this was a secret, which I don't believe it is. Uh, where was it? Just this, this thing. Yeah, no. Here's where I need to save. And then, useless ball. Back at it again. Ah, damn. I just tried to, like, go for it. Not sure if I can do that, or if I need to... Oh! Hold the S key. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yeah, that screen is just a bit of RNG. It's not too, too bad. God damn it. Wasn't having any problems with this last time. But, oh, okay. Okay. That one was, was just bad. There we go. Hmm. 
Hmm. There we go. Okay, you can just hold S. I love how slowly you fall with this ball, too. It feels so, like, frail and flimsy. Oh, no. Oh, God, that was close. I guess you have to bounce from here. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. There we go. And now I can select the power of flight and avoid this laser thing and pass this flight test that's basically oh that's basically just do you have the the flight ball oh my god you can still hold a and all that with this ball There we go. Now what? Isn't there a save point, like, right above? Yeah, I kind of remember that. And we can still go to the upper right here. Yeah, you can pass that if you're just a little quick. Finally, we get to hear this song. This song is so fucking good. I believe you have to do, like, all of these challenges, and it doesn't really matter which order you do them in. I can't quite remember. I guess we'll just do them. Oh. I guess I have to wait. Now I can go up? Oh, that doesn't even lead anywhere. It's just so I can, like, avoid this thing. And sneak past it. And then I guess sit here. And go. There we go. Where the hell does this take me again? I can't quite remember. Ah! Zero! I see. Yeah, you need to hit all four, and then you get the proper code. So I don't really remember what the code is even for. Is it for... the ending, or is that another secret? It might be another secret. Just like in the tutorial area, area there was a... a four-digit code. Wait, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, no. Well, I still just respawn here. That's good. Okay, so you might as well just do that. When you activate one of the numbers, just, just kill yourself. It's fine. That's one. And going right here. Ah, this is where you, wait, this is just another code? Yeah, okay, so wait, hold on. If I start... Secret levels instead. Do I type it here? So, 7190? No. And it's not like numpad? It's not numpad. Uh. Oh! Right, wait, doesn't this have something to do with the, the forms? Like, you have to get here with 7, then 1, then 9, then 0. But this is 0, so I guess you have to do it in order. So wait, if I just respawn and do 7... That doesn't do anything. I think I'm onto something there. I can't quite remember how... Like, I remember doing all of these in the past, but I don't remember now. Yeah, it's pretty clear that it's something to do with what power you use. Was this even seven? Yeah, this is seven. Huh. Guess we'll leave it for now. Wait, hold on. Let's do them in order. I'll do this one next. Well, it's kind of reverse order, but that's fine.
I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be the flight ball here. This might be the, the order thing. Yeah. I'm not too... Oh, right. I activated the last digit while I was the flight ball, which is why it became a zero. So now I need to... I see, I remember. Now I need to do seven, and I need to do this one, probably. This is probably the first digit, and you're supposed to complete it with the useless ball. And then the next one was nine, then one, then zero, right? So it's cold ball, normal ball, and then light ball. Or was it 7190? Let me just confirm that. I think it was 7190. Seven, yeah, 7190. And I already just accidentally put in the uh, zero at the end. Right, don't need to go up there again. So let's start with seven. I could have just gone there, probably. Oh, that's fine. Is that all I needed to do? Yeah. And that becomes a seven. Exactly. So now, seven, one. Regular old normal ball. Oh, I vaguely remember this part being pretty tricky. I uh, guess you're not going to the right here. I should probably go there. Damn. Oh, what am I doing? Ooh, close one. Oh, just... I was gonna go for the full thing, but let's just wait. There we go. Is that everything? Because that wasn't as bad as I remember it. Maybe I'm just... Again, I might be confusing it with the uh, hard mode. Maybe hard mode is just kind of absurd, and that's what's, like, sticking in my memory a lot. And then nine, cold ball. Uh, wait, that was this one, yeah. I also vaguely remember that being really difficult. Probably again in hard mode. I guess in hard mode there's probably gonna be like a laser gun at the bottom, so you can't like touch down or something. Maybe they'll be faster. I can't remember at all. But there we go. Now I guess flight ball again. And we head in here. Nice. So that's how you do the secret as well. If I go into the uh the tutorial. I'll probably be able to, like, get the four-digit code at the very top, and then uh, input that here, I guess? So I really should have done that before I'm beating the game, because I'm gonna have to go back and then, like, fix the code again, or get into the, the underwater laboratory again. So that might end up being a bit of a problem. But oh well. Bomb room. And you just need to get past these. Yeah, that's simple enough. Do you want to save your game? Sure. Hundreds of meters under the sea in an underwater laboratory, a bomb lies hidden capable of freezing the whole world to ice. But as luck would have it, in the exact same place, a ball is to be found, bouncing around. And seconds before the bomb is due to explode, the ball manages to cancel the countdown. The world is saved. 
temporarily at least. But the clock is still ticking, and now there appears to me nothing that can stand in the way of Dr. Cliché's doomed world coming to pass. That is, unless... Unless again. Unless again. Unless Within the Deep Forest 2 comes out. This song is also really good. Yeah, pretty unfortunate. Within a Deep Forest 2 is most likely never coming out. Now, I believe Within a Deep Forest was like the ideas he had for that were just made into Knit Underground, was it? Because that has ball mechanics along with Knit mechanics. It's like a, an amalgamation of the two. Or was it Night Sky? Don't really remember. Yeah, I definitely should have done this yesterday. I just got so tired for some reason. Well, because it was late, that's the reason I wanted to go to bed, I suppose. And I think I just have to, like, hit a button or something, but I don't mind... Oh, no, never mind. I don't mind sitting here, even if that's what you have to do. Let's just listen to this. Get a little cut in of all of the different areas you've been in. And the game just ends. There we go. Yeah, the nostalgia definitely holds up, or rather, the, the nostalgia didn't cloud my judgment, I feel. I still love this game. I think it's fucking fantastic, and I would recommend it to anyone. It's just so fun. And yeah, like I said, in Operator Status, I feel like the uh, ball-bouncing mechanics and stuff are a little more... Like, they feel more natural, but this one is way easier to control and just feels, like, just better to use. Like, Operator Status, it makes sense how the ball moves, but it's sometimes just uncontrollable. Here, the balls all feel, even the, like, rubber ball and alien ball and the really uncontrollable balls, still feel like it's just up to you. It's your skill. It really is... Pure skill, like he'd said for Operator Status, which is debatable. But yeah, this game is fantastic, and we still have stuff to do, so let's start by just jumping back in. And yeah, I guess you can just switch to hard mode whenever you want. And like, if I do, if I save now and then do hard mode and go to Pinewood Heights, do I just have everything? I do. So yeah, that's something I do don't want to do because that just that just feels cheap it's just like cheating so let's just do normal and we'll try and figure out these secrets so start off moving the mouse cursor away and now i guess i i can just go up here did you know that you don't have to use the mouse to select a ball material yes i did the ball materials are bound to the number keys so you can you can select material that way as well. Can you do it with a number pad, though? Yes, you can. That's actually kind of cool to know. Didn't know that. I need to be careful, though, because my, uh, my end stream hotkey is on my numpad. So it's control minus. That shouldn't really be a problem. And my mute key is on the decimal and the numpad. Oh, do you, like, not... Wait, I might just be above it. No? No! I guess you have to be... Like a specific ball here. You can't be the flight ball. 
But which one can you be? Oh, the yoga ball! Yeah, there's a, a yoga... Wait, no, not yoga. The, uh... That's the rubber ball, right? The one we got on the moon. That's what that's about. Yeah, I believe that's rubber. Okay, so that's what that is all about. And what was it here? I already forgot. It was like a three and a six or something. We'll find out. Yeah, three... Six. Eight. Big leap. And big leap. Zero. Okay. Three, six, eight, zero. Three, six, eight, zero. Yeah, let's get out there and go do that. Well, no, let's not. Hold on. Let me write that down. I'm just going to open a notepad. Three, six, eight, zero. And then we'll have to go to the Shadowlands and try and figure that out. Because I'm pretty sure that's also another number code that you need to put in. That's down here. Not sure if I can do this as the flight ball. Because it's pretty OP. But, let's do it. Yeah, that crushes me. Can't really remember everything here, even though it was just yesterday I played. Yeah, there's this guy. And I could- oh! Damn. Not that way! I could just go past him. Oh my god. Maybe I can. Can I just go in? Yeah, just like that. That's better. Jesus, can you not do that? I thought you could. I want to try one more time. I just... Oh, I just didn't think he would suck that much, but he sucks a, a whole lot. He's got the big suck. Okay, I'm gonna use two hands for this. There we go. Yeah, that's something you can do. And that's right there. We've already been here. This is like a secret path. And then I went to the right here, I believe. But then you can also go... Wow, really? Come on now. I can go down here. Yeah, that's also obviously a crusher there. But if I go up here... That's also... That's nothing, okay. And nothing. Ah! It's this screen. Okay. Uh, should I... Go up here? Why not? I can fly. It's fine. Don't actually want to hit that now, because I... I believe that's not where I want to go. Man, it's been so long, I... Oh! Guess I'm going there now. Maybe that's fine. Maybe it is over here. I just can't really remember... The secret here. I just know there is one. I definitely remember there being a secret here. Like, you have to follow... A little wisp or something and then it flies across the screen and shows you numbers in order but I don't know where that was or how you get it to appear maybe you can't be the flight ball oh man when it's like almost completely blocked off. And I can't even do this. I need to be the heavy ball? If you're even supposed to go there, let's try it out. So, oh, 
So where would I want to go? How would I want to go here? Um. Damn. Okay, let's see if I can do that again. Oh man, that's a far jump. No, there's no way. But then how, I guess maybe you're not even supposed to go there? Let me just check if I'm flight ball. Where do we even have platforms here? Yeah, those are fake. There's one here. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel like the heavy ball can even do that. Like, can the heavy ball even jump this high? I don't think it can. No. Even if you get up there, there's no way the heavy ball can jump up on the right. So I, I guess you just don't do that. Wait, and there's no, like, secret block, right? Uh, not that I can see. More wind here. I can almost force my way past that. There's this part. That just takes me to the, the cold power. Yeah. Huh. Oh, and now I can't get out again. Well, guess we have to respawn. Man, where was that secret, though? I know there is a secret here. This is probably a crusher. Okay, that's not, but this definitely is. Yeah. And so is that. Yeah. And so is to the left, of course, as well. And that, too. Basically, all of them are crushers. When in doubt, it's a crusher. Trying to look out for uh, some like secret passages and stuff, but I'm not really seeing anything that sticks out. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember it not being here. Like I've already gone past it at this point. So let's exit out and check this again. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, I'm here, which is fine. I thought I was way. A long ways away. Okay, what if we go right instead? That's a crusher, isn't it? Yeah. Damn. Might need to look this up, honestly. I know I I figured this out at some point in the past, or maybe I looked it up then too, I honestly can't remember. But I know I've done it. Damn it. In some way I did it, I just don't remember how. Don't see any secret passages here. Ah, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Going in here? It's 
Kinda nothing. Hmm. Yeah, it feels like there's something to do with this section. And this is just where the little wisp is located. It's not this thing, right? Like, maybe if I lead it to some special place, something would happen, but I, I don't think so. Good thing I uh, wrote down the code, because I don't think I can remember it. Or was it like 3680? I guess I can remember it. Um... Oh wait! I just saw the little thing, if I respawn. No? I saw the little wisp and it flew up. Is that... What I'm trying to follow? Wait... Yeah, that thing. But now it goes over there. Yeah, let's... Shit. I... That might actually be the key to it. Can I catch up to it? Where'd it go? Ah, oh, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Let's respawn. Okay, there it is again. It's like going in a specific route. But maybe that's just there to show you where the secret passages are, and not really something you're supposed to follow? I'm assuming it went up here. No, it's just gone again. Damn. Now it went to the right. Oh. No, it's back. Going up. Come on, take me somewhere special. Oh, there's just two. And I guess they just show you, like, a proper route you can take. Huh? Oh, okay. I thought it, like, went into me. Don't lose it! Okay, good. And then they meet. Oh, fuck. And then they just meet. It doesn't seem to be anything. I... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look this one up. I just can't remember, so hold on a second. I'm gonna check the Niflis forum, see if there's some talk about it there. Within a deep forest. Secret mini games. Uh... That doesn't seem to say anything. What's the difference between normal and hard? The difference doesn't appear very significant. The steering is trickier in the harder version, really. Because the tower puzzle is different, huh? Oh yeah, the laser speed. That's why I remember that being really, really difficult, I suppose. Um, 
minimum number of balls required to finish the game. All the balls are needed. Huh. That's not true, actually. You can corner glitch. It's possible to beat the game without balls 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, uh, pink ball, alien ball, yoga ball, and rubber ball. I guess that makes sense, because you need the cold ball, and the useless ball, and the heavy ball. And the flight ball. Yeah? And the glass ball. Okay. This is completely, like, unrelated. Uh, looking for secrets? Yeah, code number in the Shadowlands. But... And you unlock two minigames, the third one unlocks on its own. So it's just the code that I have from uh, the tutorial, and then this code. So that's... that's it. There's apparently another secret area that I don't... I'm not sure if I've even heard about this. Secret... Uh, strange place. Hints about a bigger level, like Utopia Minor, but there's another one I can't think of. It's a level with electricity, a bit like the UFO. But how do you get there? It didn't say anything. And there's only two few pages. Um Secret Levels yeah, They're just saying like edit the code in. I don't want to do that. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of boring. Just, oh, I just want to unlock it without even, like, bothering to unlock do the challenge in the underwater lab. That's kind of, like, the whole point. Hmm. Let me search again within a deep forest Shadowlands secret to see if that comes up with anything. Well, there's good old deceased crab. Yeah, he was like one of the OG Niflis Let's Players. Why can I not? Am I going to have to like go and find my own video about this? from way back. Secret code. I mean, I don't I don't think this is the one I'm looking for. Oh, maybe it is. He's in the Shadowlands. Yeah, wait. Okay. He's he is somewhere. How did you get here? So, oh, it is the wind thing. Okay, wait, hold on. So it is the wind thing that I was trying to do with a heavy ball, it's just you don't use the heavy ball, and you don't use the flight ball, because the flight ball doesn't have, like, the power, I suppose? Wait, so where is that again? Was that past this point? Now I can't remember. That was easy. Was it up here? Well, there's one wind part. Yeah, that might be something. Yeah, wait, hold on. This is definitely something I can check out. Just like with a heavy ball or whatever. 
Huh, not sure how I just missed this. Whoa, really? Even the heavy ball? Then what's the fucking point of the heavy ball? Come on, man. Pull your weight. Literally. Yes, you can't do that. What if I use the rubber ball then and just go for like pure speed? Can I just overcome the winter? Uh, the, the winter, the wind. Nope. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Even the flight ball can do that better. Can any ball do it? Not one. Not two. I've tried three. Not alien ball. Glass can't even make it down there. Yoga ball. I guess yoga ball is the, like, anti-wind ball more so than the heavy. But nope, even that doesn't work. Or at least it was on the moon. Ah, it gets pretty far, but not enough. Useless ball. Oh. 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 I, I believe it can get in there. Yeah, but can't do anything. Okay. And then, yeah, rubber ball, cold ball. And... Let's try the flight ball again. Yeah, that can get in there. So you can see another screen, but I just can't push past. So, never mind. Now, where was the other part? That's here. And once again, I can't just... Oh my god. Flight ball my way past here. Nope. And apparently... It's rubber ball that you have to use, which is surprising to me. Yeah. Huh. I don't remember doing that at all. Six, nine. Nice. One, zero. So it's always zero at the end. You always input zero, because that's kind of the only thing you can do. And this is just to get out? Huh. Yeah, for some reason I thought there was like more to this, where you had to like follow the wisps or something into a secret tunnel. But yeah, there we go, that's... That's the two codes, so... Now we have to do the secret lab yet again. RNG? Not RNG? Hold on, once again. Paranoia, just making sure, yep, making sure, like, audio is on and all that, I don't know. It's just a, a thing for me. I'm so used to recording, and when I record, I just have audacity on the, uh, my other monitor, so I always see that, hey, I'm talking right now, and I can see myself talk, but when I stream, I don't do that, so sometimes I just feel like, wait, what if I'm muted this entire time, or what if, I don't even know. Also, I should just bring up the, uh, dashboard again. Alright, 
Here we go again. Yep, there I did hit my mute switch accidentally. There we go. Okay, so is the code already input? Or do I have to do it all again? I guess I'll just start with not the zero, because if the zero is still here, which I doubt, then I don't need to do that. So, which one do we do first? Let's do the one from the tutorial area. So that was 3680, I believe. I didn't write down the other one, but that was 6910, I think. I'll just write it down, just in case. Oh yeah, this might be a bit trickier. I didn't get out in time. Cause yeah, now I can't just like glide down like before. I hmm, god damn it! It's the momentum is very different, so I just press to the left, thinking it'll go, but it takes a little more than that to move the heavy ball. Oh shit! I could have just gone there. I wanted to like middle land, but. Maybe that was unnecessary, but it might not be unnecessary every time, so I should probably try it. There. That should be fine. I could have just gone for it instead of trying to middle land, even though that's probably safer if I actually do it, right? Okay, well, didn't mid land, but it works. There. And then six. Yoga ball. Might actually be kind of hard because it bounds us a little too much, this ball. Oh god, that was close. Oh god, that was closer. Okay, nice. Not too bad. Oh my god, I, I knew that would happen. God damn it. I was just about to say... The Yoga Ball is definitely my favorite ball in the game. Just the sound is so satisfying. I love the sound. But then that happens, and now I hate the Yoga Ball. Oh, that was kind of risky. This is bad! God damn it. Oh god! Oh god, didn't hold A. Yeah, maybe this is why I was thinking this screen was pretty difficult. If I did this and then did hard mode as well. Holy crap. Let's just land here. Okay, let's not make the same mistake again. Just jump up, and then stop. And then jump up. There we go. Good. And eight? Was it eight? I just, I'm gonna control check. Yeah, three, six, eight, zero. It's a rubber ball in here, which is actually actually kind of hard to control, probably. Brr, brr, brr.
Yeah, rubber ball bounces a little too much sometimes. I'm very curious about the hard mode thing, because if the- oh god, the controls change? I don't remember that, because maybe that's why I'm thinking, like, I'm feeling like this game controls way too easy. Maybe the hard mode is more like operator status in terms of, like, yes, it feels more natural, but it is way harder to control at times. I don't know. But yeah, we do still need to do the flight one, so, oh well. This one isn't that hard, it's just a little tedious, honestly. It takes a while to do. Just waiting. Right up here. Oh crap, damn it. Oh man. Just a second. Alright, there we go. What am I doing? Let's wait. I wonder if I'm gonna have to do this twice for the second code, or if I can just like... have this ball already on there and just change the other numbers. Careful now. Careful now! Holy shit! There we go. There we go. That's one code done. Secret game unlocked! Okay, that's all you have to do. Don't even have to, like, go back. Uh, up here. Oh, close one. This hasn't changed. Nope, this teleporter is the same. Okay, so if I just check that now, secret levels, I've unlocked Dodge Square, secret game one. Okay, so now for the second one, that was uh, 6910. So, six, yoga ball. In this one, not sure how hard that's going to be. Let's find out. Definitely want a middle land here. Yoga Ball has a lot of momentum. Okay, I did want a middle land. God damn it. Maybe I just shouldn't bother there. I feel like every time I've died there, I felt like, oh, I could have just gone. Gone for it. Just don't bother. Yeah, like, right after this part, just fall. Of course! A fucking course! That one time! The one time I try it, it doesn't work. Fucking typical. Oh, hi, Tear. <laughs> I'll probably leave that to, uh, Vinny, I think. Never been much of a Kajumbo fan myself. Don't understand his true mastery or genius. There we go, six. Cold ball in the lasers. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, you're right. It probably would do me good to stream like the mainstream shit. Because who else? other than you is gonna watch this stuff. Ah, oh, crap. Oh my god, yeah, cold ball is pretty hard to control. Oh my god, cold ball is hard to control. 
Okay, that was not Cold Bald's fault. Uh, yeah, it's... This is just... I've already beaten the game. This is like... There's three codes in the game. There's one that you beat the game with, where you have to, like, get through four challenges, and in order, you use the ball of the number. Like, I have ten balls, so there's one for each number, and you have to, like, input them in order, so... The proper code is, like, 7190, I believe, so I have to use ball seven and go through challenge number one and then at the end that's the number I input and so on and after I've done that now there's two other secret codes you find in the game one in the tutorial and one in another area in the game called the Shadowlands and they unlock secret games that are like separate from the game there's another secret levels.exe in the folder and you have to like input two different codes to unlock all three games in there. So that's what I'm doing right now, the second code. So I got one secret game unlocked. God damn it. And I have to get the uh, second one, and when you get both unlocked, you get the third one. My god, that jump. Nope. Why? Why do I do that? Do that? Oh god. Jesus Christ, Cold Ball might be one of the hardest balls to control. There we go. There we go. God damn it! Okay. All right. Okay. Progress. Let's play it safe. Ah, uh, this doesn't feel safe. Hold on. There we go. Alright, finally. Three digits done. So yeah, I have 6980, because I inputted the last code. Now I need to make it 6910. So I need to replay, restart, and use ball number one, the original ball, and complete the third challenge. Oh, crap. This is what I remember. Like, oh, being down here is bad. It's with ball number one. I can't make it up again, so I have to jump from the start. Oh, god damn it. Also, Terry, when the hell are you gonna play Knit Stories? You gotta get on that. Niflis is like all the rage these days, you know? For me, I've been playing a lot of Niflis games again. There we go. The most popular games, Knit Stories, you mean? Or just the games I've been playing? Oh, right, can't go here. Oh, crap. Yeah, Knit Stories was pretty legendary. And there's also, like, so much fucking stuff to that game. There's community levels by... I want to say the thousands, honestly. Like, there are so many, and I believe they're being done, made to this day. It's pretty crazy how, like, active and just fun that community is. That's something I would like to do at some point, too. Just Knit Stories custom level stream. Just grab, like, 20 Knit Stories custom campaigns or levels. Secret game unlocked. And then just play those. So there, there we go. That's done. Now I'll just go back and save. And now, if I just quit the game and go into Secret Levels... Oh, wow, it just automatically shows up on the stream. That's convenient. 
we have Dodge Square, Pop, and Hidden, which is unlocked. So, uh, these are just tiny little games. I don't think they're much to talk about, really, but let's play them anyway. Yeah, very simple stuff. But look at this score, though. I wonder, does it get harder, or is it just like... Oh god, yeah, they're, they're definitely getting faster. Oh boy! I, I can't read that right now! Sorry! Oh dear! Ghosts! You have to keep moving. Oh! I, I don't think I've ever seen this. I don't feel like I ever got this far in this game. Fuck! Oh no! Now I kind of want to like, keep doing this. Uh, what's so special about Knit? I, I, honestly, I, I don't know. I can't answer that. I can't tell you why... It is so good. It just is. There's just something like something about it. The art style, the like the sound design, just the background sounds, and yeah, the, the engine, the gameplay, like how it feels. It's just I don't know. You you have to play it or you will never get what's with it, basically. Can't really say much more. It's just a very fascinating game. Even the like base levels are just the atmosphere is really fun, and yeah, it just it's just fun and feels nice to play somehow. Don't know how else to explain it, why it like resonated so well with me. I'm just playing Undertales. What? Undertales. Oh yeah, I guess this is... I mean, honestly, I almost know nothing about Undertale, like the gameplay, but I, I think I've seen something similar in the, like, combat system. I guess that's what you mean. I'll give this a couple tries, I just wanna... Oh my god! I really want to get to that... That section again. Just to see if there's anything past it. Like, I wonder if there's a point you win? If you just keep going far enough? I gotta focus and use all of my Toho skills. Here comes the ghost. At least that doesn't last very long. God damn it! Oh my... Ah. I might want to give up on this. God shit and it's weird. Unconventional. Yeah. Honestly, that's another game I've been kind of considering streaming because yeah, I have it. I was like, it was forced upon me, and I just didn't, I wasn't streaming at that point, and I didn't want to like, let's play it, just because of what happened, basically, just, I don't know, it didn't feel right, but I still want to play it, and yeah, it might be fun to like, stream it when it's cool again. Oh my god. Uh, let's just check out Pop for a second. Oh, mouse control. I see. 
I'm assuming there will be, like, enemies and stuff that you have to avoid. Yep, death balloons. Wonder if this game also has some, like, crazy twist that happens later on. Oh, apparently it does. No, okay, that was just the end of the game. And hidden? Oh! Some actual stuff. Welcome! In this strange place, you can see many of Sarasanberg's creatures that can't be found elsewhere in the forest. Wait, strange place? That's what people were talking about in the forum, about the, like, last secret. I guess this is it. Wait, has, but what is... I, I thought Delta Rune had already become a thing, but was that just like a d demo or something that happened? And nothing more? So yeah, I guess that that would technically be the time to do it, like when that comes out and everyone's like, holy shit, what's this all about? And then they might get interested in Undertale as well. Might be the way to do it for, like, the purposes of views or whatever, if you think about it in that sense. Yeah, I see. The demo... Wait, are you saying the demo itself is a full game, or that Delta Rune will be a full game? Oh, hi. Ah, the demo is self-contained. Yeah, that's interesting. Also, this is kind of a nice example of Knit. Like, this kind of art style, and these little creatures, and the, like, feel you get here is not all of Knit, but it's, like, a pretty decent, just amalgamation or whatever, just sample of how Knit kind of feels to me. Uh, I mean, within a deep forest is, like, the the predecessor to Knit stories, I believe. I'm a little fussy on the the timeline. I think Niflis made uh, Mod Archive Story and Operator Status, which were two, like, other ball games. And then he made Knit, I think. And then he made uh, this game, Within a Deep Forest, and then Knit Stories. But maybe that's wrong, but it's, like, around the same kind of... kind of a... Uh, Time frame. And yeah, this is Niflis. Within a Deep Forest is one of Niflis's most famous games as well. Like Knit Stories and Within a Deep Forest, those two. Though, at this point, Knit Underground is probably also up there. That's probably his most, like, commercially successful game. Yeah, I believe this was the second Niflis game I ever played. I played Knit Stories first and then heard about this game and checked that out. Yeah, like, there's just so much here that it's kind of pointless, but it's called a strange place, and it's just, like, atmosphere, kind of, for no real reason, but it's kind of pleasant. The Knit games are a lot more about platforming and stuff, though. This is just, like, flying around. Hello, parrot. Oh. Hi. Yeah, I guess... I guess that's it. That's a strange place. Cool. Alright, let's fucking try this thing again.
No! God damn it. Oh, well, I, I wasn't looking. I could see you typing, but I don't look when I'm doing this. I'm gonna give this, like, three more attempts. If I don't get there again, I'm just giving up. So I, I want to get to hard mode in this game and check that out. Oh, god damn it. I should have just went down there. Okay, let's just do one more. One more attempt. Kind of... Kind of curious to see what happens. Maybe there's a video of someone doing this. I... Honestly, there might be a video of me doing this. I can't even remember what I did, like, way back in the day. Certainly, I played this game in the, uh, Let's Play. I have no idea how far I got. I might check that out myself later. This is good, okay. Finally made it here again. Let's not die now. No, god damn it! Oh, fuck! I was. Ah, oh, that was better than I have done, but. Ah, oh, that was such a stupid death. Well, I'm. I give up. You'll have to try that on your own at some point. Or check my Let's Play, who knows, maybe I got like 9,000 points. Probably not though. But yeah, I'm just gonna go into a new... New slot. Also listen to this, wait, hold on. You need to listen to this amazing narration. It's, it's quite, uh... Quite quiet though. So let me just boost it for a second. The year is 2500. The whole world is in ruins. Only a small number of people have survived the war, one of which the infamous and notorious Dr. Cliché. The time machine that he has built has enabled him to travel many hundred years back in time. Here, he has been able to complete his most dastardly deed, the building of an underwater laboratory, inside of which he has placed the most powerful bomb the world has yet known. His first attempt failed, and instead led to the creation of a ball, although no ordinary ball. If ever this bomb should explode, the entire planet will freeze and all life will be lost. In this way, Dr. Cliché aims to eliminate beyond all reckoning the possibility of such a future ever coming to pass. Where Dr. Cliché is to be found exactly at present, nobody knows, but rumor has it that the bomb is activated. The world lies in grave danger, that is, unless... I don't know if that was, like, obscenely loud or anything. Yeah, I just love that narration. The world is in ruins. The impression? What do you mean? Like, the, the story? So yeah, let's just go to the practice area, and I'm just gonna go uh, straight to the right, because I don't need practice, though I probably should. Yeah, I mean, the whole game is just a ball. You're a ball, and you bounce around. Uh, yeah, right away I can definitely feel that the controls are different in hard mode, but it doesn't feel that bad. Honestly, operator status is way harder to control while still feeling like it makes sense, whereas mod archive story is just like, fuck you, that doesn't make any sense. I don't like the controls in that game at all.
But yeah, so far, doesn't really feel very different. I guess I'll at least do the like heavy, heavy ball tower. Because if it's just this, if it's just the heavy tower and I guess the underwater laboratory that's like changed in any way, eh, maybe not too keen on replaying it again. At least not if it takes more than this stream. Did I even do hard mode? This does not feel like hard mode. Oh, let me just get to the new ball power and then I'm just gonna confirm that I selected hard mode. Because yeah, in operator status, when you do hard mode, it's fucking absurd. Like hard mode is so much harder than normal mode. It's just unbelievable, but here it's exactly the same game. I guess just slightly different controls, maybe. Yeah, there we go. We get the pink ball. All right. Yeah, it's, it's hard mode. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, apparently hard mode in this game is just like... The controls are a little floatier, like your ball doesn't change directions quite as snappy. You have to like manage the momentum a bit more. And then uh, there are like one or two areas that have changed at all. Oh well, yeah, this guy says don't come here, come here later. But I know we can do this right now, so why not? Oh man, it really might be harder. Definitely feels like the pink ball is harder to control. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, this game is almost like entirely about controls. Like, watching it played might be just a completely different experience than actually playing it, because it's just, yeah. An entirely different thing. While, it, while like, knit games, you can kind of just watch and get the feel for it, because the controls in those games are just... They're so tight and, like, everything just makes sense. This is all about the, like, ball physics and managing momentum and stuff, which you can't really see. Oh, shit! You can't really so oh, God! see what I'm doing, and like... Ah... Oh, crap. There we go. Alright, let's not make that mistake again. There we go. That hover thing. Okay, last time I went uh, left first, so let's go right first. Holy crap. Yeah, is this different at all? Oh boy. Yeah, it didn't feel like the blue ball was very different at all, but the pink ball feels very, very different. Controlling this is pretty rough. There we go, that's one part done.
Yeah, there's not too much to say about this, because this is just the second playthrough in hard mode, and everything seems to be more or less the same. So I've already done this yes just yesterday. Crap. There we go. And that's two thirds done. It's one more section. Oh yeah, this part is fun. My controls are reversed every time I go past one of these gates. Well, I guess not every time. There we go. Also, you can control yourself in the air by pressing up or down. Otherwise, you just like hold A or S. If you hold S, you bounce higher. If you hold A, you don't bounce higher, so you have more control. And if you just like let go, then you're just bouncing normally. And different ball materials have different physics to them and special abilities and stuff. Here we go. Got the alien ball, which is very hard to control, but jumps very high and is very fast. Oh, really? Oh no, I don't have to redo this. I was gonna say, like, I have to come back here again, but no, you can just press escape and leave. There's also a little bit of flexibility with what you, which ball you get at which point. Because yeah, I just skipped ball three and got four instead. Pretty sure I could just go and get ball five as well now if I wanted to. And just leave three for later. Yeah, is this where you get five? No. I can't even remember. I think this is just like a secret area where you get like a hint for another thing later in the game. Yeah, I believe you got the glass ball from use. Yeah, this is a secret. So where was light anyway? Can't quite remember. Even though I played this yesterday. Was it here? God damn it. Balls of pouring, yeah, that's true. And the normal ball, was there a blue one? The the pink ball is a normal pouring. Yeah, wait, wasn't it? The blue one was called like. Shit, what was that one called again? There was a pouring. There was like a, a drops, which was orange, I think. And then the blue one was like around the Christmas area or something. I don't remember what that was called. Oh, that's just this part. Did you even get anything for doing this? I, I can't remember. Whoops. Yeah, there's some like mindfuck areas like this. This screen, everything is just mirrored. So you have to like look at where you're going to go. And it's... Pretty confusing. And here it's upside down. Oh, that's just another secret. Okay. Or hint, rather. Right. I think you might need the heavy ball to get the glass ball. Yeah, I believe that's it. So I have to just go over here anyway. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, at first I thought the controls weren't that different, but I can definitely tell that this is a lot harder to control than normal mode. It just looks like I'm flailing around for no reason. Also, wait until I get the heavy ball. The heavy ball has, like... The heavy ball and the yoga ball have the most fucking satisfying sounds to them. They're so just amazing to use just because of the sound design. Here we go. Now I have to climb this tower again, and this apparently had some changes in hard mode. Not the tower itself, but once we get in. Hey, I'm kind of surprised there's like the same amount of checkpoints and stuff. In operator status, he just like killed off half of the checkpoints and that was kind of annoying. Alright, there we go. Let's use pink ball here. Whoops. Damn it. Yeah, I figured that's what you were, were doing. I just, I don't remember either. Hold on. Hmm. Good old ratemyserver.net. I spent so, so much time on there. Yeah. There's a mastering, but that's just a big pouring. There's drops, which is orange, as I thought. The pouring, the green one. Angeling. Santa pouring, that's just red. I can't find, I know there's one that's blue. I'm positive, but I don't know what that's called. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was, like, around the Christmas area or something. Or maybe it was in the toy factory or something? There were, like, a ton of different colored borings in there. It's been a long time. For anyone in the future watching this, we're discussing Ragnarok Online. Marin, yeah, that's it. Right. All right, sorry for the delay. Let's actually try and do this puzzle now. Oh, let's try and do this puzzle now. Oh. There we go. Right, have to switch it again. Oh, whoops. Oh, damn it. I hate when I, I did that last time as well. I have to go all the way over here to reset it. Oh, fuck. Well... 
Now I have to reset it again. Ooh, just in time, and then don't die. Thank God. Now this part. This one is also pretty tricky. That's one. Ah, damn. I have to redo all of it. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I again. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I had to be like really quick there? Fuck. Oh boy. Is that different from normal? I can't remember. I did hear that there were like minor... Oh. Variations in this place. Okay, there we go. I think that's it? Or is there one more? Oh yeah, there's just this part, which is fine. Oh. There we go. Heavy ball get. I'm skipping past all the text because I already read it in normal mode. But now I have the heavy ball. Just one second, I gotta get to a better checkpoint. Also, I gotta save. Alright, there we go. Here's Heavy Ball. I just love the sound. And we get the auto-scroller segments. Oh joy. Whoops. Ah, crap. Not sure if this has been changed. I think it's the same so far. No, that's... that feels different. This might have changed in hard mode. That's definitely changed in hard mode, but I got it. And here we get Glass Ball. 
great. Okay, yoga ball. How do we get yoga ball again? That was... Also, I was wrong about glass ball. I thought you got glass ball in a different area. Man, I just... I played this yesterday and I just can't remember, like, half the game. Yeah, where the hell do you get yoga ball? It might be over here? There we go. Was this something or is this just like... Yeah, this is yoga ball, right? I think this is yoga ball. It's not just like a secret or whatever. Ah, oh, just barely. That's fine. Everything persists through death, so if you can accomplish something while dying, it's fine. Oh, I think I need the alien ball here. Ooh, don't hit that button. Hello. Once again, this is a very, like, knit thing as well. Just, like, random creatures in the world for no reason. They're just, they're just there. It's a very, like, niffless vibe. Oh, crap. Probably not be this ball anymore. It's very hard to control. But I guess it worked. There we go. That's just. Is this yoga ball? I'm so fucking confused. Well, this is another fun section. Now we're in red. Now we're in teal. Yellow. Also, yeah, just the music in all of Niflis games is just so fucking good. Like, I would say Within a Deep Forest might have the weakest soundtrack from Niflis, and that's saying something, because I fucking love this soundtrack. But just like... Knit, and Knit Underground, especially. Syra has a really good one. And just... Oh, right. This part. Now we need to be specific balls, because specific balls go through specific colors of lines. Yeah, there's just so much good Niflis music, and he also has help from DFast and Decibelter and other people that just make music. It's just, I don't know. I never get sick of any of, like, Niflis games' music.
Damn. Can I just jump up from here? Yeah. Wait, I should be able to. Yeah, nice. Another mirrored part? Damn. Ah. Oh my god. There we go. And now we need Heavy Ball again, I believe. Oh. Yeah, this is Yoga Ball. Nice. Didn't quite remember. Now we have Yoga Ball. Whoops. Let me just save. This one is also really satisfying to me. Also, I need to use... Wait! I need to... Right, use Alien Ball. That's what I do. Alien Ball to get up here. And then Yoga Ball to activate the teleporter to the Lunar Cheese Factory. Oh, Extraction Facility. Close enough. I should move this window. Can't see how like long I've streamed or anything. Yeah, it's getting up there. I wonder if I can do all of hard mode today because I'm not gonna bother with like secrets in hard mode. That's pointless. I've already unlocked them normally. It would just be beating the game and there's not that much more. This gives me the useless ball and then I need the rubber ball, which I do remember where, where you get. And then the cold ball is past... Where's that again? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, is this fine? Oh, it's fine. For now. If I can just save this. Oh, I can't save it. Damn it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God damn it. This is probably my least favorite area in this game, honestly. Both music-wise and just... It's kind of boring to look at. And it's just jumping puzzle upon jumping puzzle. Oh my god, that was terrible. The yoga ball was like my favorite ball in normal mode. Here it's quite hard to con control. It's very like heavy and floaty. If I just get over here, I can get a checkpoint. That's better. Ah, oh, crap. That almost worked.
God damn it. Oh my god. Please. Okay. Okay. There we go. Finally. Good. Checkpoint again. Right, wait. What did you do here again? I think you're supposed to use Heavy Ball, but... I think I can use Yoga here. It looked like it for a second. I was almost past it. Yeah, there we go. Huh. I don't really think you're supposed to do that. I think you're supposed to switch to heavy. Yoga's heavy, yeah, true. Yoga, like, resists a lot of the winds and stuff. Oh, oh god. Yeah, this section is almost over. As I said, I'm not a huge fan. It's pretty bland and empty. Yeah, that's a dead end. If I go over here, I don't think I ever have. Or, I didn't yesterday. That's also nothing. Alright. Let's go down here. This guy is a massive troll. Unlike the other two, this guy will eat you. So, I've saved now. Oh. If you just assume that he's friendly, he just munches you up. Because fuck you, that's why. go faster. Got that first try at least, unlike the last playthrough.
Yeah, yeah, you get some pretty crazy sounds if you just hold down S in like a tiny corridor like this. It gets even better once you get the rubber ball here. Good thing I checkpointed. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Rubber ball. Now let's get this one stuck in a tiny place. Wait, hold on. It's easier to do here. Is it? There we go. Enjoy this sound. It's great. All right, now where did I go again? I believe I go to the right all the way. Uh, I should save. I got a new all power. Oh yeah, I just remembered where you get cold ball. So where I'm going now... Wait, where do you even get the useless ball? Oh wow, yoga doesn't get affected by these winds either much. Unless you like force it. Useless ball... Where was that again? Because I have a feeling where I'm going now is just like... A little extra area and not actually anything. This one? Was this a ball or is this extra? Crystal path. Yeah, I believe this is where I'm going. And this is where you have to make use of the glass power. Yeah, this area is very confusing. Ah, I guess it isn't confusing. Yeah, you need to be glass here, but to be glass here, you need to have drop down here. And taken the long way around. Okay, all right. That now this makes sort of a bit more sense because I was very confused by this last time. Whoops. Yeah, this area is all about like managing to not break the glass ball, which breaks if you fall too far or go too fast into a wall, like so. Ah, crap. Got in there, at least. Also, I believe you can do the corner strat here. Somehow, I can't really remember how to do it. But there's some way you can, like, bounce off of corners... ...to just not die with the glass ball. I'm pretty sure I remember doing that, but oh well. There we go.
Crap. Yeah, once again, as far as I can tell, nothing has changed about this place in hard mode. Honestly, coming to this from operator status is almost a little disappointing. Like, hard mode is not really anything, whereas in OS it's just a completely different game. Sometimes for the worse, because there are no checkpoints anywhere and it gets pretty frustrating, but even so... Just be fun if there were like some additional challenges and enemies or whatever obstacles and all these different levels and challenges and whatever. Here we go, not bad. Okay. Where did you go here again? What did this yellow button even do? I can't remember. Did that ever come into play? I don't think I want to go there. Yeah, there we go. Crap. Yeah, there we go. Kind of did a corner bounce and didn't die. And it's just down here, I believe? Oh. Right, of course. Wrong ball. Yeah, there we go. Useless ball. Let me just try something else. Oh, god damn it. I'm just curious what's to the left there. Can't remember if I checked that last time. Oh man. Maybe Yoga Ball is not the way to go here. Let's try it again. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's too slow to gain acceleration, or to accelerate. There we go. And then up and to the left. Oh right, this is just that screen, yeah. I don't really understand this whole section. It doesn't make any sense, and there doesn't seem to be anything here. No secret, no nothing. Oh well. Got useless ball now, and now it's Shadowlands. Oh man. Yeah. Guess I gotta do it. I've come this far, I might as well try to just beat it. And then move on. Yeah, left there is another secret with like a little hint. Not gonna bother with that. I don't need hints. Wait, do I want to start by going right here? Can't quite remember the best route in this place. Also, this is a really good track as well. So enjoy if you're still listening. Ah. 
You got nothing better to do, I see. God damn it. Ah, shit. Okay, yoga ball not working out. Let's just try pink ball. There we go. And checkpoint. Good. Pink ball is the key. But here... Which one do I want here? Probably rubber ball. Just to catch the little... Shit. The little fairy sprite thing, whatever. Oh, wow. That seems to move much faster in hard mode. Holy shit. Okay. Not sure how you really catch this thing. Guess you gotta lure him like... Like that, and then get there in time, and I didn't? Okay, I see. No! So close. Oh, damn it. Yeah, this is definitely more of a challenge. Come on. I feel like just getting it like right at the start is probably a better idea. I just like bounce really high and then Come on. Just move. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> Shit, that's a dead end. I guess it might be best to just climb up here. Once again, I can't really remember the route here. Can I not get up here? No, you can. Right, that's a tricky jump. There we go. Ah, 
Oh, man. And that doesn't work. Yes, <laughs> chump. There's also a dragon in the, uh... Like, basically the entire point is... At the very start of the game, you get told... There's the power of flight, and it's just on the other side of the lake. But there's a giant dragon guarding it, and if you just try and, like, jump past the lake, you just similarly get chomped by a dragon. So the entire point, getting all of the upgrades, is just so you can, like, use a time machine with a cold ball, and get back in time before... Wait, no, you go to the future! After everything is frozen by Dr. Cliché, and then the dragon is dead, so you can just go past it and get the uh, flight power. Well, you find the king's ghost and then teleport back in time. It's pretty... Sounds convoluted when you talk about it, but yeah, it's a pretty simple game overall. So yeah, now we get to do that. And it's just the final home stretch now. Just gotta go to the time machine. And then get the uh, the flight ball, and then underwater lab again, which is where he came in, I think. Oh, damn it! Also, I think it's highly unrealistic that I can be the cold ball in this fucking volcano with lava and ride these, like, hot air currents. Oh, god damn it. So close. Okay, let's not use cold ball. Let's use normal ball. Oh my god, normal ball can't even... Oh, it can get up, just barely. to be a different ball. Alright, there we go. Now cold ball. And into the future. Also feels pretty unrealistic that the fucking cold ball can be popped like a balloon. Wouldn't it be ice? We go top of the tower and then leap of faith good
Damn it. Ah, oh, man. Oh, boy. Almost did it again. God damn it! It was right at the end, too. And I didn't even have any reason to bounce there. I just did anyway. Oh boy. Oh, this section. Oh, this is not going to be good. Jesus Christ. And then I have to do all of it over again. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a bit harder in hard mode. Things are less in your control. Okay, okay, good. That, and then I just have to bounce up. There we go. There we go. And there's still nothing here in hard mode. It's the castle. The far side of Eloon Lake, yet again. Also, here's the dragon, if you want to see it. There he is. Apparently he loves balls. And that's it. Now I'm set up to finish the game yet again. Let's do that. Then I'm off to bed. Probably have ended this a while ago. Lost track of time, but now I'm committed. Might as well finish it. Finally, the one use for the useless ball that has like no powers and can't jump floats really slowly, and it's just generally worthless. You get a hint that there's a tiger that thinks it wants to eat everything because it thinks it can absorb its powers by doing so. But what happens if it eats something that has no power? And that's the whole entrance to the secret final level. That was not secret, but the final level. There we go. This music is also really good. But you already heard this. This moves quicker this time. Much quicker, holy shit. Yeah, this is probably the best track in the game. Ah, damn.
Nope. Yep, this this is hard mode. This is like what the entire game should have been, honestly. This is definitely a lot harder. And the rest of the game was kind of dull just replaying it for no real reason. There we go. Got that done. What was the code anyway? Like 7190, I think. Oh shit, right, we have to get back. Whoops. Wait, let me just confirm. Is it even the same code? Yeah, 7190. Good. That would have been horrible if I did all of it, and then in hard mode it was just a different code. Ah, just barely too early. Damn it. Okay, just one last thing. There we go. One, and this might be the worst section. Apparently this is much faster in hard mode. Sure is. Oh boy. Good start. Oh my god. Yeah, pretty much twice as fast. Not even sure how you get past some of these sections. Oh, crap. Not like that. Yeah, this one jump. I think you have to do all of it in one go. Yeah, okay. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> Can't even be that upset because that's only like halfway done, but still. Nope. Oh, I actually could have saved it there if I just tried, maybe. If I just like drop down and then go left. If you time it, yeah, you could take a shortcut there. But it might be harder than just doing doing it the normal way. Oh, that was close. I'm doing it again. God damn it. Fucking same place. Not even sure what I did there. Ah, 
I'm, I'm just losing it. I need to go to bed. But it's so close. It's just two more. This one and one more section. And then I'm done. Oh my god. Well, I did. I changed from the cold ball. Haha! <laughs> I'll get the cold back, the cool back soon, because I do need to do nine on the third digit. Damn it, this fucking part. Yeah, now I remember why I remembered this part. When I played the normal part, I was like, oh, that was easy. Why did I, like, why did this stick out in my memory as something, like, significant? This is why. Hard mode is why. God damn it. Just too, too much height. But if I didn't bounce, it wouldn't be enough. Like so. Aw, oh, man. Keep taking too long. You have to do it in one single smooth jump or you're just fucked. So much build up, and then I still fuck it. I'm getting really fucking sick of this. There we go. I just had to get sick of it. Christ damn it, last jump! Oh my god. Fuck this shit. Ah. Uh. Oh, hey, I did the skip. Though, on the wrong side. But that worked. What? Mmm, that was so dumb. I don't even know what I was trying to do there. Well, I'm getting better at that part. Was close. Last one again. I knew that would happen. Right when I did it, I knew that would happen, and I still did it. Okay, that's pretty consistent, if I do it that way. 
That's not. Yeah, that's fine. Finally. Why is this part the hard part? This isn't even the hard part! Yeah, these fucking jumps, it's like, I need to have some bounce, but not too much. There we go. Okay. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Let's not fuck it up now. There. That's three out of four. One last one. And this one is also harder in hard mode. Oh god. Can't even get into it. Well, this one doesn't look that bad, actually, but we'll see. Oh my god, I can't, like, stop. I just wanted to stop, but the cold ball doesn't stop. The cold ball never, never stops. Also, I didn't regain my cool. The cold ball failed me. Maybe I shouldn't go down. Maybe going up is better. This way? Yeah, that seems promising. That... Mm. Just wait it out. Let's wait it out, I said. You can't possibly tell me that this section is worse than the lasers. Okay, 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 that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just don't die here. Don't die here, Jesus Christ. Just need to sit here. There we go. Okay, finally. Well, there's one final last challenge and then I'm finally done and free. Yeah, this part. Just gotta get to the button, and I don't know if this is different in hard mode. Maybe these are, like, quicker or something. Oh, that wasn't too bad. There we go! It's done. Finally. Was hard mode worth it? Not really. Hundreds of meters under the sea in an underwater laboratory, a bomb lies hidden capable of freezing the whole world to ice. But as luck would have it, in the exact same place, a ball is to be found, bouncing around. And seconds before the bomb is due to explode, the ball manages to cancel the countdown. The world is saved, temporarily at least. But the clock is still ticking, and now there appears to be nothing that can stand in the way of Dr. Cliché's doomed world coming to pass. That is, unless... Unless... Throw back to the intro. Yeah, there was supposed to be a Within a Deep Forest 2, but it never happened. Yeah, that's true. Pretty much. This song is also very good. But there you have it. That's all of Within a Deep Forest 2. Or, no, not 2. 2 is gone. 2 is never happening. 2 was baked into Knit Underground, as far as I know. Something like that. 
but all of within a deep forest, normal mode, hard mode, and the secrets that I know of. There might be other stuff. Not sure. I think the like whole secret thing became more more of a thing in later games. Like Knit Underground just has tons of secrets. I'm not sure I've seen all of them, and I spent so long just exploring everything. But yeah, I like this game. Kind of dragged on a little bit doing hard mode, because again, there were like no differences except the final final dungeon, the underwater lab, and the like auto uh, auto scrolling section. And like one other section I can't even remember. It was very minor. So I guess honestly, if you play this from the start, maybe just play on hard mode, because Sure, it's hard to control, but I have a feeling that's sort of what it was meant to be. And then he toned, toned it down just for the sake of it. So, accessibility and all that. But yeah, I guess normal mode is a bit more of a pleasing experience just in general. the game closes. There we go. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna end off the stream. That was fun, revisiting it, but... Yeah, I don't know. As I said, dragged on a little bit, but it was fun. Definitely feels better to play that game than Operator Story, uh, Operator Status, in my opinion. And well, there's gonna be more Niflis once I'm done with Operator Status. Be moving on to Ernog, his newest game, which is still a couple of years old at this point, I think. So yeah, thanks for watching. Good night.